the state of Vermont's Long Trail spans 270 miles from the southern to northern borders of the state. This adventure brings us to mile 212 in Beaver Meadow Lodge. The lodge is located one mile off the Long Trail at just over 2,200 feet and will require a nearly 800 foot ascent from the parking area. Snowshoes will be essential. The lodge features ample bunk space and a wood stove. I will be eating dinner and spending the night. Let's make tracks! And this is what we want, I think. Beaver Meadow. Nice little water source was about a mile to go. I think I got plenty of water so far, but you know where it is coming back, I guess. All right, looks like we're heading to the lodge, which is not broken in the trail, but that's okay. Right. Just crossed the listed water source. It calls that a tricky hop, rock hop. Let me say, that was more than tricky. I tried going downstream to see if it was easier. I made it. I don't, I don't think I really got wet. I mean, we'll see. I got spare shoes and tons of socks anyway, but. We are inching up on that lodge. Trail's pretty well marked. I mean, some are faded, but some are not. Yeah, you can easily tell the blue. Assuming you know your colors, which I do. Another one up there. I mean, there's also this chance I may not be 100% on the trail at all times, but it may loop. I mean, if I'm hitting the blues though, that's gotta be good enough. I mean, I pretty much want a beeline and there's a blue. And I see another blue. What I'm hoping to see also is another water source. I mean, obviously, there's snow, I can just melt it all. But there's supposed to be one right by the lodge, maybe. Usually, usually most lodges. So that way, I don't have to go far to get water. I mean, I still got plenty, I think, in my camel pack. But, you know, 
Oh, there's a lodge. Look at it. There's down there. How do I get down? Oh, there's the privy. Nice. Oh, lean to down. Oh man. All right. I'm thinking this will loop me down to the lodge. If not, I'll just cut in on the right. You no, know, it looks looks like a solid trail. It'll be much easier tomorrow on the way back. And that's what I want to see, the smokestack. So, I think we got a wood stove. There's the privy over there. Nice, brought some toilet paper. I like to leave, I like to leave whatever I got. I mean, I'll, I'll just take whatever's on the, the roll and bring it with me, put a fresh roll and then uh, leave the roll here for a, uh, like a through hiker or something, you know? Or just anybody, really. You know? Uh, almost looks like it loops around, but I'm just gonna... I am not gonna be lying it, because that looks like a wall of four feet of snow. I don't know. Yeah, this is probably better. Although, either way, I guess you gotta do it. Yeah. Alright. Oh, and look at that. Water source. I mean, it's not the fastest moving thing. But we're up high and, uh... Can't be that much upstream, as far as beavers go. But, yeah. Water untested source. Well, I gotta filter, don't worry, bro. And some of it's gonna probably boil anyway. Oh shoot! All right. Oh, you can hear it down there. Whew! Somebody left some kindling. That's not too shabby. Got my axe. Oh, and there's a blue thing there. Maybe it did loop around. Who knows? Oh. Whatever. Oh. All right, let's get in there. Well, it's a little dark, but let's, let's get in. Log book, we'll sign that later. Plenty of bunks and stuff, and there's the old cast iron wood stuff. Right. Let's get set up in there. Alright. Hey, it looks like there's a lot of wood here. Somebody left. Well. All right, I'm gonna stick this sensor outside, and I think, and we'll take a look at this. It says it's about 39 inside. Let's see if we can't get it up to like 40 or so, 50 maybe. We got 38.3 right now. Let's check it in 30, in 30 minutes. See what we're up to. And it's 35.6 outside. So it's been about 30 minutes and we are up to 
62.6 degrees, and it's falling to 29 outside. So, you know, it's a little colder outside. Not too bad. So far, I've filtered about 0.75 liters of water. Probably going to give myself two liters, and then that, that should be enough for a while. And, uh, yeah, cooking a little um, sweet potato, heating up some water. Going to have some spicy pad thai later. I haven't sh decided exactly how I'm going to cook that, but it should be good. All right. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. It's about three something, and it's still light outside for another hour or so, so that's good. Oh, well, wow. Well. It's about 90 degrees, at least on this rock. I'm thinking I'll, I'll move the thermometer now. Maybe I'll move it. I'm trying to line stuff up here. Um, let's move it move to this table. You know, this table's fairly close. So 92 over here. Wow, geez. So it got warmer. No, but. Give it a minute, that'll cool down, 92.3. Anyway, while we wait for that, let's take a look out the window. The windows have seen better days. I actually got some duct tape, so maybe I can make some repairs too. There's the sensor, by the way. See the sensor I put outside? I'm saying it's 28.8. So, yeah. I mean, it looks like this window has seen better days. I mean, maybe I can make a repair on it. It's, I don't know. I, yeah, I can actually feel the cold air coming in. Looks like mice have done something there. And then this one, it's kind of nice. It's like, uh, someone put a Ziploc bag. Looks like they ripped in half a gallon bag and kind of like tried to gussy up that window. I mean, you know, I'll give it a shot, I guess. I don't know. How's this window over here? No, it ain't bad. I mean, you know, it's not necessarily a bad. Oh, I, I got duct tape. I'll fix this crack. Not necessarily the worst thing in the world. You now there's a top bunk up here, but it's interesting. Like most top bunks, you might think, okay, so the front of it, that's how you get up. But there's like a little ladder in the back. Then you go up. It goes up. All right. So I mean, we're a good bit away from the stove, and it's 59 degrees. About 4.35, it's starting to get dark out. Let's take a look. I mean, you know, with the snow and everything, you can you can see pretty good. Uh, but I don't, I mean, I got a decent supply of wood in here. Uh, probably end up getting early to bed. Um, got some tea right here. And... I think I'm just gonna go ahead and have some food here. I've been kind of snacking on these old protein cheddar cheese things. Amazon finally started delivering them again. Apparently they don't deliver them until October because the heat messes with something when they ship. And yeah, it's true, I've gotten like clumps of like seasoning in them before. So, where are that? Got some foil here. <clears throat> Spoon and a plastic fork. There's no trace. Yeah. Sticking this in my bear, bear uh, back things to hang this up. It's got all pretty much all my food in it, so I'll hang it up later. All right. I have not broken out my stove. I've been cooking everything on here. It seems to be working out. Got the sweet potato. Kind of looking forward to that. I've wanted to get the sweet potato out here on the long trail for a while. But I brought one one time and just like, I don't know, I didn't have a way. To, I thought I was going to cook it on a fire, but I didn't have a, we couldn't make fires. I was, so this one looks, I mean, it's, it's steaming. It's, 
crack it open here. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it's probably too hot to even. I mean, it's nice, it's good. It's like cooked all the way through. Definitely not rare in any way. And we got kind of the main, the main course. And I was on the fence whether I could cook this like, like that. The way I cooked it, I just kind of, I set it up on top of this thing that just like came with the place, threw some snow in there. And yeah, I mean, the water actually did eventually boil when, I don't know, it got hot enough, but not, not horribly hot. Not, not enough to like melt the bag. Normally the way you're supposed to cook this is what do you do? You uh, you tear the pouch, which I, I left the pouch intact. I don't want it spilling everywhere. And you stand it up right in the microwave. So you stand it up like that. And you microwave it for 60 seconds. Oven's made for yeah, maybe I do it for 90 seconds. It depends. I mean, this is my car frozen or something. I uh, I think I did like two minutes or so. But I mean, it feels plenty warm. I mean, it should be good to go. Let's let's take this guy out and see see what's what. Oh, don't want to tear it. I mean, I could always dump it in a dish, but yeah, I think I screwed it up. Okay. How bad did I screw it up? Not that bad. I could tear it from the other way. Okay. I got that. Um, Loma Linda spicy pad thai. I've had it before. Never, never out camping though. Going in. Yeah, it's good. I mean, these are real good. It's got a little kick, not, not too bad, but I mean, it's not underspiced. Please, no trace. I mean, hopefully the lighting's in here good enough. I have to check. It's got a light. I got a light up there. Got a light here. I got this headlamp, but I kind of turned it off. I wasn't sure if it was blinding the camera. I mean, it's a nice light. I like this light. I don't want to really hang it, but... You can kind of change the direction. I mean, that's, that's good. Who knows? And, of course... When you're on the long trail, I guess I'm not really, I'm very close to the long trail. I'm not going up there. It's like I'd be breaking trail and it's like, I'm very close to the long trail. So I think you still have to drink a, a long trail. I mean, it's just the rules. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I've got plenty of food too. Like, let's say wicked snowstorm tonight or something. I could hole up here for probably at least two, three days if I needed to. I don't know that there's supposed to be a huge storm or anything. So, but now that I said it, watch what's going to happen. I mean, I'm kind of over here, but. Normally I don't eat dinner at 4.45, but maybe I'll make it an early night. Get up the first light, make tracks. You know?
Oh yeah, I mean, it's great. It's got like, I mean, it's vegan, by the way, I should mention. Which is hard to find, something like that, but I, I couldn't believe in these vegan things. They went on sale at a crazy deal, or, uh, the Ocean State Job Lot is a crazy deal. So they buy five for $10, which, I mean, it's not bad, two, two bucks. You get a crazy deal gift card for $10. I mean, I don't work for Ocean State Job Lot or anything, but. So basically, I got, like, ten of them for 20 bucks, or for 20 bucks, and got the $20 gift card, and then the crazy deal was over. I've got one bag and got more. This was the only one they had left, though, the Spicy Pad Tag, though. There's other kinds, though. There's like a, a red and a green curry that I saw today that weren't that I've never seen before. God loves. Um, I mean, pretty much they're all good except for but the Bolognese or Bolognese. I don't even know how to say it, but they got a bag of spaghetti that I love. I mean, a little high in sodium, but I mean, what is it? It's not that bad. 20 minutes protein in the bag. Nine uh, sixty things of sodium milligrams, um, which I mean I'm sweating a lot. I sweat a lot today. Hiking, man, I was probably a little over. I mean, I had it on three layers. I, I changed since I got here. Actually, I had some dry stuff I brought with me. I mean, stuff that wasn't even that wet. I just thought I'd throw it on and see what happens with this other stuff. But uh, yeah, more like a. T-shirt, or, well, everything was synthetic, or <clears throat> synthetic, like, uh, you know, workout shirt, or whatever you want to call it, short sleeve. Then, real thin Under Armour underneath that, and this green jacket, it's, like, all synthetic, and no other jacket, which was fine, I was sweating. And then my pants, I had to say it on, like, these Nike running pants, they're, they're I think they're fleece-lined, and, uh... Everything synthetic, and then I had like snow pants over, and I was definitely sweating hard. I going back, I might. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might not ditch the fleece pants, and I had, I got some some skins I might throw on underneath. And anyway, that's it for now. Finish up this food and maybe tend to the fire a little bit. It's dropping down, it's only 55. All right, just checking out the log book here. And be remembered. The XC boys. Hmm. Maybe I am. Nice. Maybe I'll face them. Next fall. John Banner. Dawson. Coach Joe. John, okay. Morale is 10 plus after. Feast and fire. We have not seen anyone on the trail since Nam. Ram. Today. Did not slow us down. Rain today did not slow us down. Or our sun our snow award. Birds are not reptiles. Let me get the pen. Because I mean. Yeah. Birds are birds. I mean. If you want to reclassify species, go ahead, but they are what they are. I mean, someone watched Jurassic Park way too many times. The Cross Country Boys started at VT 118 a few days ago, slept at Crawl's Camp, and ran top. John's foot, foot trouble did not slow down the gas. John forgot his walking some stick at the white face shelter. Yeah, I didn't have a walking stick at all, dude. I I guess they're doing a long trail, those guys. When did they start? May 15th? Did they come back? Well, did see the results? Alright. They're like one of the... Oh, no, okay. Suffolk University, class of 2020. Nate. Me and two of my buddies are walking the long trail, and we stumbled upon this little cabin. Well, it's on the map, so, I mean... Did you stumble upon? I don't know. Whatever. Um, could I endure? Where are you? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Day 17. And we haven't eaten anything but sunflower seeds. Coach Joe challenged me and... 
Hashem through the third to smoke crack. I've learned to enjoy the crack, and we've done well conserving our crack. Hmm. Now this, is part of the mo this light is just, you know, not great here. Yeah. There, well, it's better than, better than it was. I've gotten a bad case of influenza, a.k.a. the flu, bro. But we are pushing through. Okay, someone's putting their SoundCloud out. What the heck? This is a hot spot in May, I'll tell you that. Rita. No electricity, so we're going to throw it in the river. We brought a 300-pound HDTV with Xbox and a surround sound speaker system. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. Somebody lost, like, a piece of paper in here. See, these people did drugs, for sure. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah, sorry for the lighting, but whatever. It is what it is. Maybe if I get over here, it'll be a little better. Move this out of the way. Probably going to bed soon anyway. This is my, my last activity besides maybe stoking the fire one more time. I mean, I can't go to bed soon. Can I? It's 5.30. What am I going to do? For... No cell signal? 12.01... Eighteen. Chris came to Beaver Meadow. It was, let's just do some statistics here. Because I don't want to get into birds and reptiles. So let's just say, let's take the temperature right now. Holy smoke, I got up to 68 in here. And that was not like... I mean, it was somewhat near the, the fire, but it was like, you know, here's the wood stove. It wasn't like on it. It was like over here. Yeah, I'm stand I should stand over here and read the log. I'm talking about 68. Gee whiz. It's true. I can't even see my breath anymore. Things are looking up. I mean, they, they weren't ever really looking down. I mean, I guess in general, maybe. But, Okay. All right, Chris came to Beaver Meadow. It was, that light's kind of flickering, huh? 29 degrees of outside. I got it uh, up to about 68. in here with this wood stove. Patched up the window. Oh, I gotta show the windows. Spider, be gone. Windows a little. Um, ate dinner. And uh, I said, I should say uh, and, uh, stayed the night. I didn't really stay the night yet, but, I mean, come on. Where am I going? Uh, very snowy. Had to use snowshoes. Well, I guess I didn't have to, but... I tried going and get water without snowshoes, and I'm like, oh, I got my boots. And plus, I got these ice spikes. I mean, these ice spikes probably weigh a pound. I didn't even use them, but it's like decent ice spikes, it looks like. And they're 1998 or whatever, 20 bucks, let's say. Plus, you get a $20 crazy deal gift card. I mean, so just go back and buy some, some Bob's Red Mill. They sell all kinds of cool stuff. I got hot hands there. Um, yeah, so basically free this weekend, anyway. Um, all right. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you the windows. Okay, so the window, I mean, what did I do? Not much. I stuffed some newspaper in there that the mice will probably eat. Big deal. I mean, they got plenty of newspaper over there. There's a pile of it over there. I don't know who delivers the paper up here. but Anyway, um, 
And then I kind of, I don't know, this whole frame is like, it reminds me a little bit of the shed on Irisbury Street, but, uh, because I replaced the windows with plexiglass, then I kind of had to frame them in again, and, uh, I mean, I did a better job than this, but, yeah, and then I just pounded in some of these nails that, I don't know how they got loose, I mean, hope there's not bears, but, uh, and then this one I didn't touch, but, okay, over here, I haven't done anything yet, but I'm going to do it now. I mean, it's not that bad. It doesn't, like, feel like a draft, really. And somebody, like, put a rag up there. But yeah, there's still, there's a crack. I mean, I, sh I should fix this crack, right? I've, I've, I think I should. I mean, it's plexiglass, but still. I don't know who put this thing. Oh, well, I see. Did someone, like, shoot a gun through there? It's like a hole. I don't know what the heck. Someone tried caulking it. I think. I don't know. Oh, did they try caulking the whole thing? I think I shouldn't put tape on it. I'm going to put tape on it. I mean, it looks like they can always open this in the in the summer. But yeah, we're getting like condensate in here. Look at that. Hi. That looks straight. There's like a little bend. So let me see if I put, and it's, of course, it's like the window's all wet. So who knows if this is going to stick forever. But it's on. Now I'll do the next little section of crack. Speaking of crack, remember those UVM boys? The coach told them to smoke crack. It's weird. Okay. Ah, stay up. Okay. So, I mean, you know, decent enough. Okay. I'm going to take an inventory of, like, I said, oh, I could probably last out here two or three days if I got, like, I could hold up. And, I mean, okay, I got water. I could probably last, like, a week. But let's say, like, without being hungry or, you know, losing, uh, whatever. Right. How long can I stay here? So if I had to guess, I'd say approximately I have left. I mean, I ate some stuff earlier, but who cares? Um, probably have like nine thousand calories. I'll just I'll just guess. And most of it's in here. I think there's a couple other things that aren't in here. Hopefully, I can find them. Okay, this is a bag of. Contains hemp, uh, flaxseed powder, and chia seed powder. I'm gonna. I, I know I have to guess on this, so I mean, but it, it's about about 250 calories, we'll say. So I call that chia, hemp, flax. Call that 200. All right. And this is another bag that. I got two bags. I've, I don't know. I forgot I had another one in there. I made one. Okay. So we'll say times two, 400. Okay. So we got 400 right there. And then we got this, which is coconut water, where it says 90 calories in the whole thing. Coconut water, 90. Okay. Now, these potatoes are like. Uh, Baby, baby reds. Um, those are for the whole pack. Four hundred forty. Pretty dense. Now we got this. Now this is. I mean, I guess I gotta count it. You know, I could. I. I should start mixing it in if I was gonna like have to survive. But mainly, it's good if I bring those. I didn't bring any today, but sausages. It's. It's classic olive oil. Now there's 17 servings, and I probably used, I'm gonna say two servings. So that means I have 15 servings left at 120 calories. It's 1800, okay. So, I mean, it's 1800 calories in this oil. Oil. I mean, already I can, I'm in two. Yeah. It's coffee, zero. I mean, it's good for like a stimulant, I guess. Protein bar. Birthday cake flavor. 200 calories. Alright. Oh, one of these Easy Max. Gee whiz. I used to know what these were. I think I can say 250. 
I'll say I'll say 240. Easy Mac. 240. There's a little space in the with the, here, you know, there's a little space in the lid. So it's like let's throw this in. So I got another one here. So I'm at times two. That's 480. I mean, this is like super boring, okay? But I'm doing it, whatever. What time is it? What else do I got to do? Six o'clock. Okay, now this is kind of neat. This is, uh, this is split pea soup. You know? And everything you need is in the bag. You don't have to add anything else. I mean, water, duh. So it's 150 times four. That's 600 calories right here. That's, that's a good dinner. And I know I got another soup, but I don't know if it's the same thing. Is it the pea soup? No, it's minestrone. But is it the same deal? It is. So I'll just say pea, I'll just say pea soup, minestrone, pass, slash pea soup, times two, 1,200. That's a bit. What else we got here? I'm going to stuff out. Okay, that's, that's everything. Okay, now, oh, no, there's a few hiding in there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start putting stuff away that I already took out. So I don't get it mixed up. I, I, I know I wouldn't. Oh, look at that, I almost melted. Yes. Got them. No, oh, it's not wax. All right. So let's see, we got another protein bar. That's 200. All these protein bars, 200. Yeah, there's another birthday cake one, okay. So I'm gonna do protein bar times three is 600. Not to mention whatever, you know, 20 grams, 60 grams of protein. Comes in handy, all right. This is nothing, this is toothpaste. I'll leave this out for later. I'm gonna brush my teeth. Um, tea, nothing. Actually, this one is no caffeine. I'm gonna have that in a bit, in a bit. Uh, okay. So I got some power bars here, which are different than protein bars. I mean, they're a little more compact, actually. I had these power bars. I had these for the first time in New Mexico. I think they just came out, man. And they, I mean, we hiked, you know, at Philmont Scout Ranch and do these little packs. They're like plastic bags, and they, hit, they were like a meal. Okay. And sometimes you got one of these, and you got like some Gatorade, and... Oh, this awful, like, look like cat food and some crackers and a Slim Jim. I guess the end, that, that was about it uh, for lunch anyway. So anyway, I'm going to count these differently because there's, this is 210 and that's two, the 230. The chocolate, chocolate power bar is 210. Power bar. And... The vanilla is uh, two thirty, I think. Two ten, two thirty. Uh, and then you got a, a goo. A goo is is good. Yeah, goo is a hundred. They're all goos are all hundred. Should actually bring more with me. I ate one before I hiked up here. I think it helped. Probably eat one maybe on my way down. Oh man, another power bar. But this one I got should count differently. It's this is a chocolate deluxe. It's actually got one more gram of protein, but somehow 20 less calories. So this is 180. So the goo is 100, and the power bar is one, or er, uh, protein bar is 180. Okay. All right. And then this, I'm like 90% sure this is Gatorade. It might be Tang, but I can. I'm gonna call this 100 calories. I mean, it might be 80, it might be, it might be 2, 220. I don't know. But nice and handy, you know, if you get a little pick-me-up, maybe in the morning I'll even have this. It's hard to say. I'm probably going to have the coconut water, so. Um, all right. So we'll call that 100 for the, we'll call it uh, Gatorade. Anyway, 6,660. So that'd be about two days of, like, nourishment. So it's about 5 a.m. and we're cooking up some breakfast here. Boiling this water. I'm gonna. I think a little bit of snow might have gotten there, so it's boiling it a little more. 
And here I got my coconut water. The contents of this bag. And it got pretty cold in here last night. Down below 40, about 35. And the interesting thing was, I was like, oh. I mean, I heard noises in the night. It was like mice and stuff usually, I guess. But I heard kind of like something drop. I was like, oh, maybe a mouse like tried doing something and it fell. But you know what it was? This thing, it was a sensor for the outdoor temperature. Somehow, and I patched this up this morning in the window, but it was on the ground here. A mouse must have like carried it in or knocked it in and like pushed the window in. So I, I pushed it, pushed it back. But, uh, yeah, because I, I was looking at the temperature and I, I thought, oh, that's weird. It's, it's, uh, it's getting warmer outside, huh? But mm, probably not. So, yeah. And then I put the rest of the wood in here in the wood stove. But it's starting to catch. There you go, there's some flames. Alright. Alright. Turn off the stove. And I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm trying to get 18 ounces of boiling water in there. It's, I guess, close enough. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat and drink this. Back up. We got a bunch of stuff hanging here. And try to get on the trail first light. Well now, looks like we got us some tumbleweed. I'd move it, but it's frozen to the ground. Yeah. <sighs> if I had a saw, maybe. Yeah, it's some heavy snow. I mean, another tree down. I guess they tend to do that. I have a feeling this one was dead anyway. I still got leaves, man. It's 
nice though. It's like a little, this is almost like a snowflake. Kind of just melting on it. I mean, we might have an ice storm on it. It's a good thing I, I didn't do a mountain today. There's some nice birches. Because, well, with the weather, I don't know what's going to happen. Could ice up good. That tree's going to look cool if it ices up. Driving will be all right. Got some snow tires on. Now the only thing I say is, okay, I heard some like the mouse, and he came in, and I guess, and he kind of knocked my temperature sensor back inside. That's fine, but come to find, he also helped himself. To a little insulation in my glove which is like that's not necessarily cool first of all I mean I guess it could have been worse he did it on the inside if he did the outside then we'd have a leaky glove I guess so that's the mouse pesky little bugger what are you gonna do yeah this next, I've been taking my time on this last part just because I'm almost there and um, took some photos and stuff. There's some water. But, uh, yeah, there's been some tracks. I don't know what those are, but there were some deer tracks. I mean, they might have been moose. I doubt it, but. It's hard to say because they kind of fill in. This might even be, I don't know, a dog. But probably not a great day for skiing. Just because it's so like icy and rainy. But it was, I gotta say it was way easier than the way up. And I guess four or 500 feet will do that for you. Whoa. I mean, it does depend. With snowshoes with a light grade, yes, that helps. Coming down four or five hundred feet in a mile or a half a mile, it's almost worse than going, I mean, it's not worse, but it's not much better than going up. I'm kind of dumb. I, well, I'm getting smarter, but I tended not to save anything for the way back when I would run the mountains. And that got me into trouble. Like, start to wonder, you know, what it's like to ride in a helicopter and all that. Overall, it was, a, it was a good trip, I guess. I, I mean, I think the temperature was pretty darn good. I, I would be interested if it had just been about four degrees colder this morning. I mean, it might have been harder snowshoeing, but I wouldn't have had to wear this, like, poncho thing. But, Put my pack cover on, and I think the pack is pretty largely waterproof now. Kind of been filming for a long time and nothing really happened, so maybe I'll just stop. There's some tracks coming up here. Who knows? Now, the way here yesterday, must have saw 30 turkeys, man, in the road doing their thing. It's all crossing like in a line, kind of. I guess this is about it from Beaver Meadow, huh? 
think we're coming up on the parking area. Came down pretty hard, huh? And here's the parking lot. Just where I left it. <laughs> 